of the biggest, meanest tailback hombres they've ever seen west of the Rio Grande. One covers ground like the Madison Express. The other one chugs along like the Salt Lake City Steamer. College football always knew this day had come. Tonight, they're fixing to have a showdown. Showdown time for Ron Dane and Chris Fuamatu, Maafala, Utah and Wisconsin. It's the Copper Bowl and happy holidays, everybody. Brad Nestler and Gary Danielson, you got the Christmas tie there? All set. We've been waiting for a gift. I think we got one tonight when we get these two Good big fellas together. Game. You bet. And these uh, two have been sensational. Fumatu Maafalo, almost a thousand yard season this year. And for Ron Dane, he set the freshman rushing record, having passed Herschel Walker over 1,800 yards. Now the Badgers work now from their own 46 yard line. Dane gets his first. Let's see if they've been embarrassed enough to play and stop this run game. They held Dane to six on that last carry, but here he comes for a first down. On the 23-yard line, first down. There's a little delay counter to Dane, and Dane's into the secondary. And here goes the big fella down the sideline, all the way to the 41-yard line. He has great patience, and number two, great vision, and feels the opening. Lusk got caught up in the traffic that time, and then he ran. Robert Love, the outstanding outside linebacker, just clipped his heels. Dane left side. Here he goes again. Dane cuts back, and now he's going to take it. The Madison Express touchdown. On the end, Aaron Gibson, number 81, just seals his man. Watch comes around, and then there's the great cut that Dane made once he got out to the secondary. And when they say Ron Dane runs smart, he runs with his eyes. This time he cuts back behind Lusk. Remember before, Lusk got caught in traffic, didn't get outside wide enough. So both times, Dane beats the free safety. Is it a run or is it a play-action pass? Well, they had about 2,000 pounds going left. Yeah, going left, Jack. <laughs> and Dane, this time, does come left. He said, you know, when we leave, they're not getting any smaller behind us. Dane up the middle. That time found himself an opening. Wisconsin just doesn't give up on the run game. They just keep pouring it in there. Seems academic who's going to get the football here on third and one. Dane, first down. Dane, first down. Come on, I don't want to wear the same shirts, Mom. <laughs> it actually said history is my favorite subject, but the other seven sections gave yeah. up on it. <laughs> Ron Dane, they're not giving up on him. When you start trying to tackle the football, bad things are going to happen when you got a 260-pound tailback. 32 more yards for Dane. They open up the fourth quarter. You know what's amazing about Dane? is he runs that far. Someday he's going to be buying his offensive line something a lot more expensive than t-shirts. Yeah, like right? Here he is on a delay, straight up the middle. Game! <laughs> Down to the one. <laughs> that time. Watch him with the patience this time. Ooh. Hold on. Lusk goes 200. Lawson. 167 pounds. I got a feeling he's going to get it again. This is the play they scored on. They'll run the play to the right. They'll follow right behind the player and then walk it into the end zone. Nobody even near him. Third touchdown of the night for Dane. Dane is going to lose lunch again on this one. He's a little upset. He got hit right in the stomach the play before. And he's bad news for the Big Ten. Yeah, he's coming back. He's got three more years should he desire to do it for three more years. Uh, as you look at the four rushers right there, Carl McCullough did it, of course, last year in 1995. 
you know, Moss and Fletcher, two good running backs right there. I don't know if it was a late Christmas present or an early 50th birthday present, which is coming up in a couple of days for that guy. But Barry Alvarez's team about to win a bowl game 38 to 10. He got a lot of help from his freshman sensation. He said, you know, Ron was carrying this package around on the bus in Madison, on the plane. Somebody almost sat on it. And then he carried it around like it was a piece of china when we got to Tucson. He said, finally, my wife Cindy had to say, Ron, what is in the box? He says, oh, it's a Christmas present for the coach. He said he could have given it to me in Wisconsin. This has not been a, a great night for Utah, but they've seen what the big boys play like physically. And it has not been the, I think the other loser of this game has been the WAC Conference. The seventh place team in the Big Ten just dusted off the third best team or the second best team in the WAC. And Coach Alvarez just got a bath. He's going to have another eight win season. Only three Wisconsin teams before tonight had ever won eight. Back in 62, the 93 and 94 clubs and now the 96 edition gets its eighth victory of the season here in the Copper Bowl by a final margin of 38 to 10.